Are you a caregiver of a loved one? If you are, then most likely you have experienced one or more of the following. Stress, fatigue, isolation, frustration, anxiety, sadness, grief, or loss. Hello, I'm Linda Ward, and I'm here to let you know that you are not alone. Welcome to the Caregiver's Corner. I'll be providing a series of courses and education to help you deal with coping as a caregiver. So first, I'm here to let you know that you are not alone. Second, I'm here to help you cope with the everyday challenges of caregiving. And third, I'll be providing you with information and resources to make your caregiving role a lot easier. You know, not everyone can do what you do. You sacrifice your time and your energy for what could be your own, to caring for someone out of love and compassion. And for that, you are truly to be commended. It's important to know that because of you, someone has an enriched life with the quality and care that meets your standards. So with that, it's important to look for the triggers that cause caregiver stress and burnout. Because truly, no one can go through a caregiving role without ex experiencing some of that stress and burnout. It's important for you to stay strong and healthy and whole while at the same time ensuring that your loved one receives the care that he or she needs. Here are some ways to manage caregiver stress. First of all, accept some help. Reach out to family, friends, neighbors. If you live with the person, at least do that once a week because that will give you a renewed sense of hope and help for you to be able to provide caregiving when you return. Focus on what you're able to provide. Can you lift? Can you bathe? Can you help dress? Feeding? There's lots of resources available for that. And then set some realistic goals for yourself. Think about the goal for care for your loved one. Is the person at home? Do they need help with placement? Could they go to adult daycare? Are you living with that person? And is that still a realistic goal to have that person at home? And then for yourself, get connected. There are so many resources online within agencies, senior services that are at your fingertips and just either a phone call away or a short distance. Join a support group. This is a must to be with others who are experiencing the exact same thing that you are going through. Also, that'll provide you support and some help and maybe some friendship along the way. Seek social support, make some time to get out, go to a movie, um, enjoy some of the pastimes that you like. Don't eliminate this totally because caregivers who do that end up burning out quicker and sometimes fail in their own health. This will refresh you and make you a better caregiver. Also set some personal health goals. Think about yourself and what you're experiencing during the difficulties of caregiving. Are you having some back problems? Is there a lack of sleep? Do you have stomach issues? See your doctor and make sure that you get a full checkup and listen to what your doctor recommends. Here are some caregiver resources for you. The first is called the Caregiver Action Network and you can find that resource at www.caregiveraction.org. It's a great resource full of lots of information and support mechanisms for you to cope as a caregiver. The second uh, agency is AARP, and it's www.aarp.org backslash home backslash family dash caregiving. And in, on that site, you will find a lot of resources. Also, there's an organization called Aging Care, and that can be found at www.aging.care.com. The last is Alzheimer's, and I will be um, also planning my second session specific to caregiving for people with dementia. But for now, there's a resource, www.health.usf.edu, that will provide you with a lot of information and tips. Thank you for joining me at this Caregiver's Corner today, and I hope this information has been helpful.